So I think I have a little problem. When I um, was doing my garden tour just a little bit ago, I saw a squash vine borer and I didn't catch him. This year I'm growing more squash than I ever have and I haven't really had trouble with squash vine borer except for last year. Um, they got one of my squash plants and it wasn't even the whole plant it just took out one of the vines from one of my squash plants but I've never had much trouble with them as I was so after my video I went through and I was doing a few little chores in the garden and I saw several more squash vine bugs they're everywhere in fact I could see two of them hovering around two of my squash plants right now so I have to do something about it so I'll talk more about that but here's the problem I've planted or I had strawberries growing in this garden bed with all of my squash and cucumber plants and they're bigger than they've ever been and um, one of the treatments for squash vine borers is you know treating the base of the plant well I can't see I can't see the base of the plants because the strawberries are all here. And the plan was, you know, after they're done fruiting, you're so, these are June bearing strawberries. Um, June bearing strawberries are exactly that. They bear fruit in June and then they're done for the year, which is really great if you want a big batch for canning, making jams and pies, that sort of thing. So mine are done and my plan was to trim them down not quite yet it's maybe a little bit early but what they actually recommend to do is to mow them with your lawnmower um mine are in raised beds plus they're interplanted with other things so i'm not going to mow them i'm going to hand trim them and i'm going to show you how to do that in addition um strawberry plants grow runners and you need to sort of keep them under control a little bit so i'll show that to you too let's get started so this part is super easy I kind of wish I had a pair of gloves on because there's a lot of bugs in here and I don't want to get stung <clears throat> um, so like I said normally you know you had a big strawberry patch you would come in with a lawnmower and just hack it all down to about an inch inch and a half above the stem line but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it this direction um, is I'm just gonna take the leaf tops this um, this string kind of coming out the side, that's a runner. I'm not going to cut that just yet. But just these leaf stems. And I'm going to take my trimmer, my pruner, and I'm just going to clip them right off. Like I said, about an inch above the ground. These are going to start to grow back, and that's okay. Um, don't, don't trim them again. Just let them grow. So you can see we've got some new growth here. I'm going to go ahead and take that one, though. So all of these leaves, um, I'll take, I'm just taking them right off. And I'm just going to hold them as I do it and take them out of the garden. So leaving them on the ground because it is important to me to be able to see underneath here. I'm just going to do a couple more. And I'm noticing a few missed fruits in here, so I'll grab those as I go. So let's look right in here. Um, here's an example of a strawberry plant. You can see these were the leaves that I cut off. This is the flowering stem. You can still see it. it's got a fruit on it and you can see where the other fruits were. Okay. Then off of this plant, Oh, you see these little strings that are kind of crawling along the bottom. These are called runners. And these are long. 
Well, this is an example of a runner. So you can see it's coming off this plant over here. It's coming normally, you know, along the ground. And then what happens is it grows a kind of a sprouting spot here, a node with leaves. And what this will do is that it makes contact with the ground. Okay. And you can see it's got roots. So what it'll do is it will root into the ground and make a clone plant. Once that's happened, what you want to do, um, and this one isn't in the ground, but I'm having a hard time finding a good example to show you. Um, actually, this one was in the ground and I accidentally pulled it out. So once it's in the ground and it's rooting, what you want to do is you actually want to remove the connection to the mother plant. And what will happen is this little strawberry runner will become its own plant. If you don't remove it, the mother plant will begin diverting its energy to all of these little runners. And then the mother plant won't do well. And you can see, if I can find another good example, is they'll continue to send out runners just kind of ongoing. Okay, so here's another one. So this particular plant has one, two, one, two, and then the beginning of a third um, baby plant on it, and it would just continue to go. So when we trim the strawberry plants, um, we can leave the runners and wait for them to root and then disconnect them to the mother plant. Or if you feel like you have enough plants, just cut the whole thing off. Just cut the entire, um, like this one, just cut the entire crown off. This one you can see I left a runner. Sorry, I can't control my camera view. Where is it? This one you can see, um, here's a runner that started. And then there's a runner that's kind of going back into underneath these plants. And I can feel it's got a really strong root already so what I might do is just cut it and let that let that baby plant grow so I'm going to finish this and that will allow me to um, get at the stems of my squash and cucumber plants I cleared out um, a pretty good patch here and I want to show you a little bit more of a close-up of what this looks like with the runners on the strawberries so this was a plant and each of these stems had leaves coming up from them like this and I've trimmed the leaves off and now you can see really clearly along the bottom there's a runner that came out and they usually do just follow right along the ground and it goes all the way over to here where you find that there is a new plant that's taken root off of that runner. And so what I want to do is I want to get in there and I want to disconnect this plant from the mother plant. Now it becomes its own plant and it no longer takes nutrients from this one. And this happens multiple times on a runner. So over here you can see that this, um, actually I had just cut this from a different plant over here over here but this was a runner right here it came and it rooted here and grew and I'm gonna leave that there because it's in a good spot but there was another runner so the runners actually just keep going on and on and at each one of the nodes um, it propagates a new plant along this along this stem so if we keep going, here's another one over here. So off of just one example, one runner off a plant, and I think plants can have multiple runners, we've propagated one, two, three new plants, and here's the growing tip, and that's going to keep on going unless I cut it off. So these are firmly in the ground. And um, I'm just going to cut them and let them establish. Now, 
I haven't done that with all of them because there are so many runners. So what I'm doing is when I find a runner, I'm trimming off the little baby plant and I'm just going to keep it and I'm going to see if I can propagate them, um, keep them alive until they've established some roots and then I'm going to place them in bare spots in the garden here. And if I have some extras, I'll give them away or um, let some friends have them. So I'm about not quite halfway done with this, but you can see I can now see the stems of my cucumber vines and over there the bottoms of my squash plants which I've already put BT on to try to head off the um, vine borers that can take down a plant overnight. Okay it's a couple of weeks later and the strawberry plants are growing back in nicely and we'll have another great harvest for next year. And we can now see the base of all of our plants down here. And as an added bonus, I found the alpine strawberry plant that I thought I lost last year. It was in a different part of the garden and we um, dug them all up and um, reorganized the beds. And I thought this was a goner. I didn't know where it had gone, but it must have been just kind of dormant sitting here since last year so super happy to find this little guy thanks everybody for watching we'll see you next